President Rodrigo Duterte is standing by his embattled Labor Secretary, despite corruption charges being leveled against him. Labor Secretary Sylvester Bellio says he has already offered his resignation to President Duterte, following complaints that he demanded a 6.8 million peso bribe from an employment agency. Bellio claims the President just told him to ignore the charges. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque added that Bellio still has the trust and confidence of the president. This, even though the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission is reportedly looking into the charges against Bellio. Aside from his labor portfolio, Bellio is also the government's chief negotiator in the stalled peace talks between the Philippine government and the communist insurgents. Bellio was accused of asking for a 6.8 million bribe from manpower agencies by the group Samahang Pagbabago National Movement for Change. Bellio says he has nothing to do with any extortion activity. Bellio, however, admits that the charge was the reason for the resignation of Labor Undersecretary Dominator Sai. Bellio claimed that the original complainant, An Aziza Salim, had admitted that she had not even read the complaint affidavit that she submitted to Malacanang. He also claims that he was never mentioned by name in Salim's complaint. Bellio also dismissed complaints that he did not help an OFW in her petition to repatriate her nine-month-old baby from Saudi Arabia. According to the Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration, they still have to resolve who are the real biological parents of the baby. Further complicating matters. OWA said that the OFW earlier claimed that the child belonged to another couple. Under Saudi law, children cannot be allowed to leave until all parental issues are resolved. Hindi ganong kadaling i-transfer ang isang minor, let alone an 8-month-old baby, from one country to another. Kahit siguro dito sa atin, hindi ganong kadaling. Lalo na, sabi nga, nabangit din, na hindi pa determine yung paternity nor maternity.